Caves, written by Nell Cross Beckerman, illustrated by Callan Chalk. In the shade of the woods is a hill with a hole, beckoning black, goosebump chills, excitement, and fear, battle. Which will win? You want to go in. Do you dare? A cave is a natural hole big enough for a human to enter. Caves are usually deeper than they are tall. Speleology is the science of studying and exploring caves. Cave explorers are known as cavers or spelunkers. There are amazing caves all over the world waiting to be discovered. Just don't go in alone. Seeping through the earth, water, drip, drip, dripping into a dark, silent room. Careful! When raindrops fall on limestone over millions of years, caves and beautiful rock formations are made. Water dripping underground leaves particles behind on the cave roof, creating rock pendants called stalactites. Directly below the stalactites, the water falls to the ground, building up stone stalagmites. If broken, they could take thousands of years to grow back, if they grow back at all. This cave sat in secret, appearing ordinary, except to those few who looked closer. Took time to go deeper. A dazzling surprise. In 2000, in Nica, Mexico, two mining brothers discovered caves filled with some of the largest natural crystals ever found. The Suevo de los Cristales has been filled with water, but after a silver mining company pumped the water out, people could see the 39-foot selenite crystals. Scorching temperatures required visitors to wear special cooling suits to study the crystals. When the pumping stopped, the cave reflooded, refilling with the warm, mineral-rich rich water that helps the crystals grow. Six women dropped into darkness, squeezing, crawling, superhero scooching to dig up bones. Hello, ancient cousin. More than 1,800 fossils of a previously unknown early relation to humans, Homo naledi, was discovered in the Rising Star cave system in South Africa. They were more than 200,000 years old. Studies of these ancient cousins continue today and help inform our understanding of human history. Hired for their dexterity and ability to fit in tight spaces and scientific training, six women carried out the main excavation. One section of the entrance required crawling in a Superman pose, with one arm out and the other tied against the chest. In the humid hot swamp, gators swim, turtles plop, snakes skim, water rushes, divers sink into the black, while you... cannonball. Underwater cave systems are caves connected by long passages. Divers in Florida swam the passages of one cave system for 29 hours, the longest cave dive ever. They entered at the Vicola Springs Cave and came out seven miles later at the Turner Sink Cave. They mapped what is now called the Vicola Leon Sinks Cave System. It is the longest underwater cave system in the United States. When sun sets, they awake by the thousands, flying jaggedly out of your dreams guided by sound to eat, then returning to their inverted slumber. Stop. Do not enter. Every summer, 20 million bats roost in Bracken Cave outside of San Antonio, Texas, making it one of the largest known concentrations of mammals in the world. While bats are often feared or viewed as pests, the majority of bats are harmless and help us by eating insects like mosquitoes. Bat conservationists work to protect bats from people by building gates at some cave entrances, letting bats enter and exit, but keeping people out. Ancient cave people looked, how, did, what? So much still a mystery, but we keep finding clues. More than 20,000 years ago, some early humans lived in caves and left behind cave paintings. Several of the most famous are found in the Scoo Cave in France, which has more than 2,000 figures. Cave dwellers often used charcoal for the color black, and they ground up other minerals and mixed them with water, animal fat, and other substances to make different colors of paint. Early cave painters did not sign their paintings because writing was not yet invented. Sometimes they used a tube to blow paint powder over a hand pressed to the wall. These ancient handprints can still be seen today. High five. 
Above a river, a river of eels, a silently squirming ceiling illuminates the thirty million year old walls, dripping an eerie constellation to trap snacks. Wanna share? The Waitomo Caves in New Zealand are famous for their glow worm grotto, where tourists can ride a boat of an underground river through a chamber where the only light comes from the bioluminescent glow worms. The worms spin silk on the cave ceiling and drop down as many as 30 silk threads peppered with sticky droplets. The glow attracts insects, which then get stuck, and the worm retracts the thread and then eats the prey alive. Molten hot earth spilling out, burning through everything, leaving empty tubes. Most caves are made slowly, but lava tube caves form quickly. Hot lava cools when it con contract contacts air, forming a shell and allowing the hot lava to flow even faster. Once the flow ends, the tube is empty and cools to volcanic rock. Undara lava tubes in Australia formed almost 200,000 years ago, and some are wheelchair accessible. All over the world, caves wait, filled with our past, our future, undiscovered, ready for wandering, wandering, explorers like you to study and crouch and crawl to find them. Do you dare?